Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Today, we're going to work on cutbacks. We're going to work on when we should use the cutback and also what goes into it technically so we can be successful when doing this to create a scoring chance or some separation to get away from the defender. Today, we're going to break down two different types of cutbacks. We can do tight turns and keep our momentum and explode out if we have a little bit more space, but if we're in tighter quarters, we're gonna talk about stopping and being able to start the other way while keeping our back to the play. Both the cutbacks that we're gonna use today, our chest is facing the wall. So this can be used when entering the zone or off of a cycle when we have to create separation by using our body, the backside of our body, to create distance between you and the defender to get a little bit of space to then be able to roll off one way or another and attack the net or make a great play. Now, you've seen when we're gonna use these two types of cutbacks in a game situation, but how do we execute it? The biggest thing is when we're going straight, we're gonna be going at the net, okay? The biggest thing is that we're gonna extend our back leg to be able to cut back up the ice, okay? So then we're gonna be able to get onto our outside skate. So if we're going towards the net, and all of a sudden I wanna cut back, I'm gonna extend and turn my outside leg and be able to get back up the ice, okay? Now, if you see our other tutorials on working on pivots and mohawks, this is gonna help you. Now, when we're doing a cutback with a tight turn, we're gonna make sure that we get nice and low and we spread our legs a little bit wider than we would normally. Because if our feet are together, it's gonna be hard to keep that balance when we're exploding out. So we have to initiate with our outside skate, low, and then get really tight and low and nice and wide with our inside skate. Okay. Now, the biggest thing is 95% of the times when we're doing cutbacks to create space, we're going to be cutting back towards the boards. Because if we can get to the middle of the ice, we want to keep attacking and go to the net. This is to create a little bit of space so then eventually we can get enough space to make a pass or attack the net. Okay, now we just showed you the tight turn. Now we want to show you the stop and start as a cutback. Now, we're going to want to use, if we're facing the wall, okay, we're going to want to use our back leg to push off of and create that speed and separation. So we're here, we stop, we're going to plant off of that back skate, you're on the inside edge, and then give it a push under, just like we're crossing over. So this will allow us to get our extra power and be in stride when we're ready to create separation. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Now remember, it's very important that we go back and watch these videos and practice our edges all the time because where you think you're just doing edges, it translates into these game situations that help you score or get out of trouble with your edges and translate into being a better player. So make sure if you like this video, press that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, tell your buddies, and remember, it's all about the details. Gravity, and when I say like weight transfer, Obviously, you're gonna get on. I can just push you. Yeah, you can just put. Okay. You're, you're, you're done. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'll just do this. Well, okay. Then one sec. We'll talk about.